Welcome to IPLEX Pipeline Training. Today, we are talking about the installation of bolted unrestrained mechanical couplings and flange adapters manufactured to Australian and New Zealand standards, AS NZS4998. These fittings work by compressing triangular shaped seal ring gaskets between the pipe spigots and fittings body when tightened. If any of the fitting components are dirty, you will need to disassemble the fitting, clean all parts, re-lubricate the gaskets and reassemble before you can fit them onto the pipe. Be sure that the pipe spigots are cut square and lightly deburred. During tightening of the bolts, the two pipe spigots are slowly drawn together inside the coupling. A clearance gap between the pipe spigots is needed to allow space for spigot drawing. For this AVK coupler, a 10 to 18 mil gap must be allowed for. Measure the overall coupler body length. Subtract the manufacturer's recommended clearance gap, then divide this number in half. This becomes the witness mark distance. Using a ratchet spanner, tighten the nuts and use a torque wrench set to the manufacturer's recommended torque setting, tightening in order as marked. For couplers and flange adapters, do not exceed the manufacturer's recommended deflection limits. Once backfilled, hand compact using a tamper. A flange adapter might be used to connect to another flange at T, bend or gate valve. All flange bolts shall be tightened using a torque wrench set to the manufacturer's recommended torque setting. Flange adapters manufactured to the ASNZS4998 standard are required to have full face flange dimensions, allowing for larger sealing surface, which also includes a pipe stop feature. A flange adapter without a pipe stop feature allows pipe spigots to pass through the fitting. In this case, the fire hydrant T shows the branch partially blocked. Disassemble the flange adapter, clean all parts, re-lubricate the gaskets and reassemble. Mark a witness mark onto the pipe spigot allowing for the clearance gap. Insert the pipe with the witness mark just showing. Pre-tighten the bolts with a ratchet spanner and torque up to the required torque setting. When a coupler has three bolts or more, follow the manufacturer's tightening sequence. Thank you for watching this iPlex Pipelines training video. Other training videos are available online. For more information, please contact the iPlex technical team on 0800 800 262.